Hey guys, your friendly neighborhood Canadian here, Hyena TGA, and today we're going to be doing the mission story Submerged in uh, Santa Fortuna, the Three-Headed Serpent. Um, for the briefing here, uh, you can just bring along anything. Well, all you really need is your coins and your lockpick. Um, and we're going to be starting off with the village bus stop. Uh, I'm doing this on casual just to get it done because I'm not sure if I'm going to be going on or not. Who knows, but... Uh, What's this it plate? All right, so I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna pick up a wrench. I'm not sure if you need it, but uh, to get into the secret room, I've always had it on me. So, anyways, we'll just run down here, and we're gonna go to the the little part of the village that is down by the river. Um. So I'm just gonna run down here, down through these uh, the stairs, and we're gonna go open up the the mission itself. I've already completed it, but uh, I just thought I would show you guys how to do it. So, anyways, there's the mission opening up. So, an employee of the Delgado So, Diane is basically saying, um, we, in the caves we Santa locate the, the husband's house, like her husband's house, and, uh, get his disguise. Now, the thing is, you do have to wait for her to get there, uh, to make it easy to get in and out. So, we can just kind of, you can either wait for her, or you can, uh... I want to punch you. My breath doesn't sink. Either way, she is going to come down this this way here. And she's going to go up these stairs to the right. And this is her house at the, the top. Where this guard is. <clears throat> you can see the husband. Like I don't know if he's playing hooky, but uh, he's just hanging out there. You don't have to ring the doorbell. I just wanted to see if he would go, but he doesn't. Anyway, she should be coming up here right away. And she's actually going to keep the, the guard distracted for a second. And it's it's weird. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever it is, but... Um, I'm going to toss a coin into this corner here when they're when they're finally talking. And basically, the guard will come take a look. You can pick up the coin if you want. Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that, but now I have to stay in there. Uh, I wanted to pick up my coin, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Anyways, it basically, it does, like, the, uh, the husband is now inside. And we can just duck down and use our lockpick. And they won't see us. So we'll come in here, we'll pick up the disguise. And then we'll just keep being ducked, hug the wall or whatever, and get past. Because they both become enforcers once you, uh... Once you have on the husband's clothes. So now all we're going to do is we're going to make our way down to the tavern. And, uh, the bartender is actually going to give us a key to this, the, the basement there. I don't know if you have to talk to him. I don't think so. Oh, no. I heal quickly. So we'll just take that key. And this way we don't have to lockpick our way in there and get kind of just, you know, discovered for that. Now we're just going to come over here and we're going to come over to the uh, valve on the wall. Open that. This is where... See, I thought you needed the wrench, but I guess you don't. And now we'll just run through here. 
and um, there is going to be an enforcer, but he's always crouched, uh, fixing something. So you just as long as you hug the left side, you should be okay. That's oh, well, he's not even an enforcer right now, but he normally is. So, anyways, we're gonna go pick up a coin or a screwdriver. Sorry, we're gonna use a coin to get the screwdriver. We'll just come over here, and we'll just toss a coin over there, and we'll just come to the bench here just pick up the screwdriver and then run up to uh, the machine here and tamper with that so once we do that then we're gonna come down here we're gonna have to talk to this guy here uh, as soon as it comes up There we go. We can talk to him now. Now he's going to call Rico uh, Delgado. And basically, you can just sit over here. Now, you got to be careful. I, for some reason, I don't know why, but I got caught for something. Like, somebody saw me. The one thing I love about this is you can see Rico Delgado. He starts running to get down here. Like, he's he's super excited. So... Okay, well, I guess there's no enforcers. I don't know what happened last time. Maybe they said, uh, put away your screwdriver, maybe. So there's Delgado. All we have to do is uh, start revving up the engine. And this machine here, this tells you it goes to eight, but I think it's like four is when it blows them off the, the thing there. But I could be wrong, so just be careful. We wait. We want to wait for him to get right here, and then it'll it'll knock him into the water and do an accident kill. Well, well, well. Who's back on his feet again? Good to finally meet you in person. I guess the accident wasn't that serious after all. I've caused worse, Mr. Delgado. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna operate the panel. Get that engine going. I'll do my best, Mr. Delgado. Good thinking, 47. Delgado will want to see this beast in action. Up close. So we're going to rev up the engine. What? 10 tons of cargo? We have increased the cargo capacity of the submersible to the required specifications, Mr. Delgado. So, theoretically speaking, how many armed men could we ship around in this thing? On top of all the drugs we'll be exporting worldwide. Around six, sir. Ten and I'm going to rev up the next one. Six soldiers. Right now, it's like a submersible part. So it's at three. Yeah. So when it hits four, we gotta wait for him. We, we have to wait for him to stand in front of it, and then I'm gonna hit it rev up one more time. So this screen actually says four. So right, right now we can actually rev up the engine to four. And that will knock him right, right, the, blow him right off the fucking runway. That's a blood sport, Reverend. All right. So now that we have that, um, there's our splash landing. And uh, you should have gotten actually 20,000 leagues under the <clears throat> under the sea. Oh, we should have gotten away, but oh well, it's too late. Anyways, so that's how you get that one done. And uh, <laughs> please uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, do a little bit of sharing, and uh, comment below if you have any comments. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you next time.